Howdy folks and welcome to a presentation on the study for the left hand by Longinus. You can find this in the Longinus method, method uh, probably, uh, the, it's called the complete method for clarinet part 3. There's a lot of interesting exercises, there's a chromatic exercise at the beginning, um, staccato exercises number 2, um, Broken chord is number three. You've got triplet exercises, um, arpeggio exercises, um, lots of absolute uh, scales in thirds, uh, which is actually particularly challenging. Um, none of these exercises are easy, but I wanted to um, concentrate on the study for the left hand because um, the left hand is often neglected uh, because we seem to use mainly the right hand. Um, and this exercise is a real doozy. Um, I find left hand difficult because um, the way I learnt the clarinet my fingers are really really straight. I mean they should be, I've got really really thin fingers too so um, in order to get them get enough to cover the hole I have to have them a little bit straight and of course my little pinky um, juts out all on its own. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll play through this um, what you should do is take each bar as a separate exercise and repeat it over and over again until you're confident enough. So the first bar um, until until you're completely happy with it. I mean, and that's the easy, this is the easiest bar in the entire piece. Okay, and when you're happy with that, go on to the next bar. Okay, so that that's not terribly hard, but we move on. Okay, so still not too hard. We get a bit hard, gets a bit harder in the next bar. Um, and here I might take it a little bit slower because there's no prizes for playing fast in practice anyway. Until you've mastered that bar, now we start to go over the break. So we are incorporating the, the right hand as well. Um, you can leave the right hand down, that's not going to affect the G terribly much. Except um, I'm playing into my dress rather than uh, holding the clarinet out. And you can leave it down. Um, I tend not to because I've got a really fast right hand. Okay, so we've mastered that bar, now we go on. Um, again, over the break. Um, almost in your sleep. And then um, next bar. And to give yourself extra practice, maybe even take the left hand C. You can tell that's really challenging, but uh, do do that with the left hand. 
Actually, do both ways really. And um, my chords would be helped if I could curve that little finger, but I can't because I've been so used to not curving it. That's really, really hard. I might try it a bit slower. that three different ways. First going right, left, right. And then all left. And then all right. Because this is a study for the left hand, I'm going to concentrate on the left hand part of it. And probably my keys are just a little bit, I mean they're probably a little bit loose, I could probably do with a tune up. But this is really hard. It's a bit easier. And again with the left hand. And now we go in the other direction. This is a right hand, left hand exercise. Go. And that's really, really hard. That's really difficult if you're doing it with the left hand, but because this is a left hand exercise, we'll persevere. Okay, so that's really hard, because otherwise... Quite easy on the left on the right hand, but this is a left hand exercise. And uh, helps greatly if you leave the right hand down. a bit easier. Although you can try it with the left hand. holding with the left hand, no, uh, no, we're not going over the break.
got it mastered. <laughs> slightly and especially challenging um, going from the B to the D um, sometimes it can come out that you hear the C as well and you don't want to do that slightly different um, they say Puma so I would disregard any speed markings at this particular point <laughs> two ways with the right hand or the left hand. Let's see which one's more difficult. Make it considerably easier by the fact that I can actually leave that finger down. Now back to G to B flat. Now over the break B flat to D. Which is quite difficult. Because you've got to coordinate the thumb with the first finger to get the B flat and then coordinate to get the D. Again I think you can leave down the right hand, it might be a bit easier. And it's quite difficult so I practice that one quite a lot. Take it back a notch in speed. Because you can't really fake it either. And then uh, back to the A to C again. both ways. Now we've got slightly different here. And again this is quite 
quite difficult. <laughs> And again, you've got to coordinate between the B flat and the D, that's what's making it so challenging. And you can leave uh, the first finger down for the F. And then this next one's not quite so hard unless you use the left hand C, which I will do in a minute. Made considerably easier if you leave down one and two. And let's try it with the left hand. hard with the left hand. It's unlikely that you'll never need to use it but but it's good to know that you can do that. This next one's a little bit easier. challenging if you use the left hand. Unlikely that you will need to use it, but it's good to have it. And again, coordinating the thumb with the first finger. And making sure that you don't leave the thumb down. So we've identified the difficult bars, and those are the ones you should practice um, a lot more than the other ones. Okay, now we're on to section A. Easy. And you can leave it all in the left hand by using the left hand E flat or you can use the right hand E flat. The right hand E flat is probably easier. So that's why I say use the left hand E flat just so that you have that. And then using the right hand. Okay, and then it gets a little bit more difficult. Use both the left hand and right hand E flats. And again, practice that until you're absolutely firm. And now we're dealing with the B flat. Um, we must remember to take off 
Um, see what I'm doing here is just merely bending the thumb up. Merely bending the thumb up so that, because um, you don't want to be doing that all the time, just bend the thumb up and that will leave you with a clean register hole. <laughs> And I'll do it side on so you can see. Okay. Now the next one. And you have no choice but to use the right hand E flat here. And to make it more difficult using the left hand C. And again um, with the B flat here, just bend the thumb. And this next one you have no choice but to use the left hand C because you're going to a right hand E flat. difficult by using the left hand C. Now again with the B flat you want to just bend the thumb up. Now here you have um, you don't have any choices with the E flat because you're going to a C. Um, you're going to need the right hand E flat. But you can make it more difficult by using the left hand C. and coordinating it's very hard that's a rather difficult bar I'd mark that one out to uh, practice and then the next bar is a little bit easier, but remember to um, bend the thumb up. And then... Uh, and um, getting into slightly easier territory here. Reverse, resist the temptation to use the long E flat, it's too sharp. And then and make sure not to put the C key down, you don't want an extra C in there. And 
And then you just got um Okay, so that's the end of that little section. And then uh, this this section here is is also very interesting. The first bar is okay. slightly here um, by using the side B flat but uh, in the interest of it being a study and you want to keep it in the left hand um, as I said you can always use left hand one easier. Here you use the side F sharp difficult by using entirely the left hand so that's quite a hard bar that one temptation is to leave the um, left hand F down, you don't want to do that. And then the next bar you have no choice, actually you do have a choice, you can use the left hand or right hand E flat. Uh, this is one of the harder bars that um and it's actually hard to use the um right hand E flat here I find. too bad. Okay, so that's the begin that's the end of sections A to B. Let's try sections B to C. These aren't quite as hard as stringing the bars together. And again I'd isolate those bars. a bit off or um, my 
clear and it's not responding as I want it to. using the left hand C. Although actually that seems easier. And then you can use either E flat here. Although I find it harder to use the, le the right hand E flat here. I find the left hand E flat to be easier. getting a little bit more of a tune we're not going to isolate the bars again for the next couple of bars and you have no choice but to use the right hand E flat here so I practice that a few times This next bar is a doozy. Uh, might be easier to use the left hand E flat. choice but to use the right hand E flat. half an hour but we've got through. I'll keep doing this till I get bored. Um, I'm sure you guys will get bored but uh, I think you're getting the general gist of it. So it's C. <laughs> Okay, 
So those bars don't provide too much of a challenge. <laughs> You know, you've got to remember that um, to put your B's and your stuff on um, B's and D flats on the right hand so you can use the left hand C for the right hand D flat. <laughs> Okay, now these are the difficult bars. And you've got no choice but to use the left hand C and the right hand D flat. Difficult use the left hand, which is nearly impossible, but it's good to have that skill. Then it gets easier. And we can make it more difficult. because you're not going over the break. And again you've got a cho choice of the right hand E flat or the uh, left hand E flat. I prefer the left hand E flat. And I prefer the left hand E flat here. And then you've got no choice but to use the right hand E flat. Okay, so we've got through that relatively unscathed. Okay, so this uh, this actually has a little bit of a tune. have a choice of left hand or right hand E flat D flat Actually that bar repeats itself so We'll stop at D and I'll prepare I'll prepare a second video um, from D. Again you can use 
use the right or left hand D flats. I prefer the left hand D flat. <laughs> can use the little right one. Which is considerably more difficult but it's probably what you need for an exercise like this and then Okay, so this is uh, the Longinus study for the left hand. It's number 10 in the Longinus Complete Method Part 3. Um, I've just gone through the beginning up to D. I will prepare a video going from D probably up to about G or H because uh, it's a very long exercise and I don't expect you to sit through um, a two hour long video so I'll sign off and join me for section D in a short while.